everyone. It's September. I'm personally excited about it. It's going to get a lot cooler here in Texas and fall is, I guess, officially here. I do have a question. When would you guys decorate for fall? Because I have fall decor and I have Halloween decor and I want to decorate for fall now and I want to have my fall stuff up in November for Thanksgiving, but there's that Halloween part in the middle. Comment below what you would do because I'm thinking about putting all my fall stuff up here pretty soon and then I'll just like switch it out, put Halloween and then put fall back. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so anyway, this is my September Dollar Tree haul. I'm sure there's going to be many more Dollar Tree hauls in September for me just because I'm always there, but I'm really excited for all the things that I got. So this may be a long video. Like I say, get in your pajamas, get comfy because I'm going to talk here. I'm just going to, I'm just going to talk. Okay, so a couple of things. I, I have a Dollar Tree giveaway still going on right now. The last day to enter is this Sunday before 12 a.m. Central Standard Time. So go check out that video. I'll put the link for my Dollar Tree giveaway below. I have reached 7,000 subscribers. And if you watch my videos, you know that I had promised a Daiso haul giveaway. And Daiso is a Japanese Dollar Tree store where the items are $1.50. And I want to say more. I know I have more stuff to say, but it may pop up later. So expect random things from me in this video. Oh, one thing I want to say. I showcased my daughter in the end of one of my videos and love reading your comments. You guys are so sweet to say she's sweet because she really is. She's just she's really hippie and laid back and she's so cool. And I'm actually thinking about doing a video with her. So that will be in the upcoming future. Okay, so this is two different trips to the Dollar Tree and um, they're finally starting to put Halloween stuff up, so I'm very excited. So I've got some Halloween things to share with you. I did not organize, so this is gonna be kind of in like just random order. So Halloween here, and they had out all of this Halloween floral. And if you watch my DIYs, I did a fall floral using Dollar Tree items, and I'm going to do the same thing. For Halloween so that video will be soon picked up two black roses and they also have like glittery black spiders in them and I picked up two purple now I'm doing an entire witch theme previously for Halloween I just kind of had just Halloween decor I never really had a theme and I decided I really like witches and I don't like ghosts I don't like the boo thing and um, it's cute it's not what I want to do this year and so um, I'm doing a witch theme and my colors are going to be black and this purple so they also have the spider in them as well so and then I just ha picked up one of these it's like a glitter branch and it's black and they only had this one or I would have picked up more. A really long time ago, the Dollar Tree used to always have like the little houses for Christmas, like the little, um, what do they call those? Like village houses. And they had them for Halloween too. And I felt like there for a little bit, you really couldn't find any good ones. And it's like come making a comeback or something because now they have even like little figurines and they had a ton of different ones. And this one has a werewolf, a witch, and some kind of a mummy. I don't know if you can see that. There's a glare, I'm sorry. And they had this tree. I mean, for a dollar. If you go to Michael's, because they have like a whole city, it's not a dollar. So, and then I picked up a couple of houses. I couldn't really remember what I had here at home, but so I just picked up a couple. This one. It's really cute. And actually, it's like has an opening at the bottom. You could probably stick a candle in there, and they have like open windows, and right here, and if you light a candle, it will glow, which would probably be really cool. I got another one. 
And this one says out. I'm guessing you can't go in or you shouldn't go in. And again, here's another opening. And there's a hole at the bottom, so you could probably stick a candle. Thank you. Some little, um, I want to say gremlins, but they're called gargoyles. Some purple gargoyles guarding the door. And I got a third house. Oh, no. I didn't get an actual house. I just got this little, it's like skeleton and bones, which is like really cool. And then this one I liked, it's like a gate, like the entrance to your village with the gargoyles on top. I mean, they had way, way more than this. You could have made a whole village of all the different stuff they had. But when I go to the Dollar Tree, I like to shop in like a little bit at a time. I don't know why, because I know I'm just gonna go back and buy it, but it's just this thing. Okay, so again, going, I'm sorry, in random order, they're starting to have some really unique erasers. I'm like, I can't, I don't even know what to do with myself, and I think these are so cute. These are erasers, and these are like tools, and these are animals, and the little legs move on them. Yeah, they're so cute. I'm actually gonna do this in a future giveaway because I just thought it was so cute. And then I saw they had this uh, washi tape. It's really cute, it's black and white, so I was covering it. I'm like, here's this tape. Like a paisley black and white pattern. And I was surprised because it's been a while since they've kind of put out some new stuff. I hate it when it just kind of like, okay, I'm kind of ready. I also picked up this purple vase. And this is one of the things I love buying at the Dollar Tree are vases because it's so cheap. And I'm going to use this for my Halloween decor. And I bought some stickers. You know me. If you watch my videos, you know I will always haul some stickers. And these are really cute. They're like safari animals. So cute. This neighborhood that I lived in, no one really came by to trick or treat. I kind of lived off of a main road and at the corner at that. And so no, I didn't get a lot of trick or treaters, but this year I have a feeling I'm gonna get a lot. So I'm just kind of starting to buy candy for that. And I saw these and they're already prepackaged dots, which is great to hand out. And I got two bags of these, and I figured if I just kind of start grabbing candy here and there, I'll be ready, and it won't feel like I'm going to the store and spending $30 all at one time. It's really a mental thing. This is something that I have purchased from the Dollar Tree before to wrap packages that I ship out to people, and it's been a while since I have purchased any, but I actually decided to get this for fall. I am going to use this as part of my Thanksgiving tablescape where I'm going to cut certain uh, size pieces and it'll be an opportunity for everybody at the dinner table to write on here what they're thankful for. So I will be doing a video on that, so that will be up here in like two months or so before Thanksgiving. If you guys watch my Dollar Tree hauls, you know that I'm starting this whole new kick where I'm going to be replacing my sponges because I use sponges way too long, longer than I should be using them, and a really great place to buy them is the Dollar Tree. So it's time for me to switch out my sponges, so I picked up. And I probably will use one sponge for about two weeks. I'll throw it away and then I'll use the other sponge for the other two weeks, so this will last me a month. So, yeah. Then I saw this, it's, I've never seen it before, but I probably wasn't looking that hard. It's like a stick ups and you can put this in like small spaces and you can see it's like in a trash can. And I was thinking about doing just that, about putting this maybe at the bottom of my trash can or something, because there are certain places where I just need to mask the odor and the trash can was the first place I thought of. So yeah, gonna use this for that. I don't know if you can, Tell me. I can open it. It actually has a stick. Like you peel this and it will stick to whatever. I don't know how it activates. Oh, you twist it. Doesn't this look like like a roach? Like 
mouse killer thingy? I don't know. Anyway, that's really interesting. And you can close it back up. Oh, that is really cool. Oh, and it does smell like citrus. Sparkling citrus. This will be great in my trash can. Mm hmm mm hmm I'm excited. Pause, because I'm going to go do it. Part of my Witch's Coven Halloween theme, I have just been waiting because Dollar Tree put out their fall stuff really before their Halloween, and I have been waiting for them to put out their Halloween stuff, and I was hoping they were going to have black crows because I am going to use these inside and outside my house. But for now, I got three. And I did have to really go through them because they are styrofoam and so some of them have some damage and you can actually see the white styrofoam underneath so I had to there were a lot of damaged birds crows whatever and yeah so but I got three of those I need to get a couple more okay this is something that I never usually do because I have an automatic ice maker but these were so cute and they're in the shape of a pumpkin they had a ton more out I will post all the pictures that I took of while I was at the Dollar Tree of the items I did not purchase at the end of this video so wait for those photos but they had like skulls and all kinds of Halloween stuff but I picked the pumpkins because I thought this would be like really cute to have for Thanksgiving dinner where your ice is in the shape of a pumpkin so I got that and this is something I'm really excited about because I have never, not once, seen this at the Dollar Tree. Um, but they are like Halloween test tubes. And I thought this would be really cute for my witch theme. Like my witch is like making potions and po poison. She's making poison. So I thought this was really cute for that. So I picked up two not really knowing what, what exactly I was going to do with it or if I would need two bags. But I picked up two and five. I knew I was gonna want some spiders, so I picked up these. They had this is a packet of two. They also have a packet of one, which is like a much bigger spider. And then they have like a smaller packet with a bunch of little spiders, and I wanted this size. These will probably be crawling on like my spell book. If you watch my spell book DIY, I will link that video down below. Go check it out. It's like one of my favorite videos that I've ever done. One of my favorite DIYs that I've ever done to date. So go check that video out. But I will be using these to kind of like make it look like they're crawling on my spell book. So then I also picked up these skeleton uh, bones. Now it says they're tongs for salad which is like actually really kind of cool, but I didn't buy this for that purpose. I actually was planning on just kind of like sticking these like in a clear glass jar in my like little witch's corner, you know, with the, um, what are those jars called? Because I can't, I don't know that I can pronounce it. Apothecary, apothecary jars? I don't know, but anyway, I was gonna stick these in a, long cylinder clear glass jar and they could just be sitting there oh some more stickers and i've never seen this there before it has a couple of sheets they had different themes and i picked the party because i figured this would be great for my planner where i can mark certain people's birthday because there tend to be a lot of birthdays toward the, towards the end of the year for me so a lot of stickers. Ooh, and I like the numbers too. So, got that. And then I saw these. I just, I mean, I almost fell over. I'm not, I'm not lying. Like I, I, I said this before, if I could have been completely dramatic and just fall into the ground in public, I would have. Because I saw these and I was like, this just completes my entire life. And yeah, napkins complete my life because I have no life. So thank you, napkin, for making my life. These are just so cute. And there's actually a different kind on the back I never even noticed. You can't see it because it's got the um, thing. I can't open it because I'm too lazy. Okay, then I just picked up one of these. I 
If you go to Dollar Tree, you know that they have these there all the time. I've never actually used these before, but I got this for Thanksgiving and this is just gonna be like my tray where I put fruits and cheeses and stuff for people to snack on. This is something I've never purchased at the Dollar Tree, not once ever in my life, and I decided I was going to purchase it now. I have a couple. Um, if you watch my fall, leaves mason jar tutorial which i will link that below as well check it out because i also use dollar tree items i put tea lights in the mason jar but i realized i can't use my matches to light it so i needed something longer to reach it so i wouldn't burn myself so i picked one of these up at the dollar tree and they also had some fall duct tape i've never seen it before i mean look how cute these are foxes you guys how adorable and here I picked up some e.l.f. It's like a quad eyeshadow palette. It's very neutral. Is there a name for this? Beautiful Browns. Mm. They got unique. Beautiful Browns. Sorry if you can't really see that without the glare. But the colors are super pretty. They remind me of the Wet n Wild palette Comfort Zone, which is like one of my favorite palettes. And I thought, why not pick this up? Now, I hauled this brush, hairbrush, like way, way back when, maybe like January or February. And I had mentioned how somebody on Etsy was selling these and like doing monogram. And I purchased one at the time and it's like my favorite brush. And I don't know if you are like me, but when my brush dies, I'm completely convinced I will never get used to another brush. I'm like, no, it just won't happen. I'm gonna have to go buy a new brush. It won't be the same. But are you like that? Because I'm like that. And so ever since then, they, I didn't see this brush again up until recently and they restocked it. So I got another one as a backup because I just get used to a certain style and to have to change that is really irritating for me. The last item is actually going to be for a fan giveaway. Yes, people, yes, people, yes. I'm doing a fan giveaway. I sure am. A prize fan giveaway. I've already picked my fan, so let me show you what I got. I got some Halloween duct tape, people. I mean, hello. Look at, look at these. These are all going to a fan. And the fan that I picked is somebody who made a comment and talked about being a Halloween freak and just like me, and I decided that these should go to Tiffany Arpin. So I am going to put your YouTube little picture right here. Send me an email, look in the description box below for my email. Send me an email with your info and I will get these duct tapes out to you, my darling. So these are for you. It's really kind of a smaller haul than I usually do, but again, I'm like doing way more hauls here in September. This is not gonna be my last one. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the photos that I took at the Dollar Tree for other items that I did not purchase. And don't forget to comment and tell me when you're gonna put out your fall stuff and what you're gonna do with Halloween and blah, 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 all that stuff. So thank you guys for watching as usual. Click subscribe if you want alerts on when I post new videos. I'm doing more fan giveaways, more giveaways, and Dollar Tree haul giveaways. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. It's probably going to be a DIY, so see you soon. Bye.